Welcome everybody to this sold out horror royal rumble action figure match. Yeah, I hope you guys are excited today because the top horror monsters will be competing inside the squared circle for an opportunity to hopefully capture the horror champion chip match now this match it will be quite like no other that's right we have weapons surrounding the ring we have steel chairs wrapped in barbed wire we brought the entire shed from the backyard to your local neighborhood and let's go ahead and introduce the competitors in tonight's match we're gonna see pennywise we're gonna see chucky billy michael myers freddy krueger Hannibal, you name it, everybody will be competing for that special opportunity to declare themselves as potentially the best horror champion of all time. If you guys do enjoy horror, drop a like and let's take it over to the entrance stage. Introducing first, from Springwood, Ohio, right down Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. The man, the guy that came for the nightmare, the one that wanted to stay throughout the entire until 3 a.m. He has made his way here into the ring to compete against 29 other superstars. That's right, Freddy Krueger, potentially the biggest threat in this match. He has come, and he has come here as number one. Let's see who the number two participant will be. From Camp Crystal Lake, New Jersey, Jason Voorhees. We have the rematch of the century. People have been wanting to see this for ages. The fact that we have it here in today's Royal Rumble match, I can guarantee you, you are in for a good one. So if you are stopping by for the first time, hit the subscribe button and also drop a like ding, 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 ding. ring the bell because this match has officially started jason Voorhees looks like he's taking some space from him freddy krueger's calling him in jason coming full charge oh clothesline clothesline of freddy krueger jason's got him by the neck it looks like he's smashing his face is that barbed wire yes he is rubbing his face all up and down that barbed wire that's scattered on top of that rope it looks like he's attempting the elimination. I highly doubt that Freddy Krueger is going to give up that easily. Looks like there's a new participant coming in. Five, four, three, two, one. Burn! From Hand and Field, Illinois, Michael Myers. The three. And I would highly consider these guys the top three in the horror game. Michael Myers has gotten so many kills over the last 20 plus years. Actually, dating back even far past that. I think today he just might get another one. He is coming into the ring with a purpose. He's coming straight after him. Looks like he's helping him out. They're both trying to eliminate Freddy Krueger. I can tell you that Freddy's not going to go out without a fight. He pushes both guys. He's got his claws. He's clawing him right in the face. He's going after Michael Myers. Now he's coming after Jason Voorhees. Oh my gosh, all the gore, the blood that's being spewed out. He's picking up the steel chair. Is he aware that that chair is wrapped in barbed wire? I can guarantee you the man already knows. He's measuring up Michael Myers. Oh my gosh, he slammed it right in his face. Freddy, he's not taking any chances. He's going to risk this chance to finally get his very first elimination. He's dragging him over to the corner. He's got him in the turnbuckle. He's smashing his head on the corner of the post. It looks like the corner of the post is also wrapped in barbed wire. Michael Myers trying to fight back, but he's gashing him. He's cutting him. He's slicing him. Another opponent is making his way down the ring. Five, four, three, two, one. From Fuller, Texas, Leatherface. Now, if you wanted a contender, if you wanted someone that was going to bring it all, this man right here, he is the man to call for that. Leatherface has made his way into the ring. 
He's measuring all the participants. He's coming around the corner. It looks like he wants to start out strong. He's coming after Jason. He's coming after Fred. Oh, he's chainsawing both of them. He's trying to take out Freddy. Freddy, oh my gosh. Freddy has been eliminated. He's coming after Michael Myers. Oh my gosh. He's gotten him right in the neck. Jason also wants to partake in the action. But Leatherface, he's going off the roof. Here he comes. Oh my gosh. He eliminated Jason Voorhees. He has got two eliminations already he's going straight after Michael Myers Michael's still trying to regain consciousness another competitor is making his way down the ring five four three two one Burn! from Ontario Canada also known as your local Toys R Us Chucky wait Wait just a damn minute. Is that Joss? Looks like Joss. He's also coming out. Are they working together? Or is he trying to fight for his life? All I know is that Freddy's trying to make his way outside the ring. Oh, he got slanted to the steel steps. Jason Voorhees also trying to get out. Oh my gosh. He slammed him right into his grave. Oh, the irony. The man comes in as potentially the top winner right here. But he gets taken straight back to where he ended up coming out from. Chucky, he's standing right there, up alongside the ringside area. Joss, it looks like he's taking his measure. Oh, he's jumping into the ring. He's swimming around, but there is no damn water. Chucky, he's coming after Leatherface. Oh, there he goes. He has been taken out. I am so confused. Is Jaws an actual competitor, or was he just brought in here by Chucky? I don't think it really matters, though, because Jaws is climbing the top turnbuckle. Michael Myers, he's calling him. It looks like he wants to go coast to coast from one end to the ring to the other. Oh, yeah! I don't think that's what he was hoping for, but it looks like he has landed right here. Our announcer table. Nonetheless, Chucky, he's coming around the ring. Wait, isn't he eliminated? I don't think he really matters. He must be pretty upset the fact that he never got a chance to compete. He's on top of the turnbuckle. Looks like Jaws. He's screaming for his life. Chucky, oh my gosh, he smashed him right through the announcer table. Jaws has been officially declared out of this match. Five, four, three, two, one. Burn. From Derry, Maine, Pennywise. Check this out, you guys. He brought the four-wheeler. He brought the balloon. And he even brought the SS Georgie. The Georgie boat. Never in my wildest imagination did I picture him rolling up in his own four-wheeler. Check this out. It looks like he's trying to drive it up. He's going up those steps. He doesn't care. He's going, oh, yeah, all the way in. And he's looking straight at him. He's ramping it up even more. Here we go. Gee, oh, he flipped the four-wheeler. He went straight into the crowd. He eliminated about 10 people. We are going to need an ambulance here. The massacre, the destruction that these men are leaving. The whole surrounding ring. Look at our announcer table, you guys. Wait, Chucky, what the hell is he doing? It looks like he's crawling underneath the ring. Get that camera over there. Why is Chucky going underneath? He just slid right up in there. We got Joss. You can tell the animal he's been in worse situations, but none quite like this, man. He needs to get wheeled out of here because the only way that we're going to determine who's going to come out as the winner will be to find out the next competitor Michael Myers still standing in the middle of the ring he is challenging anybody that comes up five four three two one Burr! on Pensacola Florida Roman Reigns and that's not just Roman Reigns but as you guys can see, that is a dead version of the Tribal Chief. I don't care if he's a zombie. We still have to honor the Oos, our reigning, defending world heavyweight champion. And it looks like he wants to acquire one more attribute. He wants to become the next horror 
champion. And the only way to do that is for him to go through Michael Myers. Roman Reigns has been doing it for years, and I truly believe that he's going to do it today. He's calling for something special. Ooh, ah, the Tribal Chief. Spear! He just speared him! Roman Reigns back on the offense. Michael Myers stands right back up. The spear didn't seem to phase him. Roman Reigns doesn't know how to react to it. Looks like he's going for one more. Hoorah! Spear! Spear! This time he drove him halfway through. Roman Reigns, he's picking him up. He's trying to eliminate Michael Myers. He's trying to do what no other monster has done here so far tonight. He's pulling him out. Five, four, three, two, one. From the deepest, darkest jungle, we have the Predator! And it's not just any Predator. We are talking about the gigantic monstrosity. I mean, look at this. The crowd, they literally stand at a fraction of the height. I know that these two are trying to eliminate one another, but I can guarantee you that they are going to have to work together in order to eliminate one of the biggest monsters in the horror game. Luckily, Roman Reigns knows exactly what to do in this situation. He is the tribal chief after all. He has grabbed the tribal weapon. He's coming to the corner of the ring. He's taking full charge. He's coming straight at him. Superman punch! Superman punch right outside the ring. That's how you do it up. I genuinely cannot believe what we've seen here so far. Michael Myers and Roman Reigns still standing right there in the middle. Who's going to come first? Big Dog right there, not taking any chances. Oh, he clocked him. But luckily, he got saved by the ATV, Michael Myers. Oh, he just slayed his neck. He's cutting him right there. He's taking the Big Dog, the Tribal Chief, straight to the outside. Just like that, Roman Reigns has been eliminated. Five, four, three, two, one. From Frankenstein's castle, Frankenstein, and oh my goodness, you want to talk about big competitors, right here, Frankenstein, standing at 8 feet tall, Michael Myers is going to meet the match of a lifetime, but he has absolutely no fear, because Michael Myers is waiting for him right there. He's not even allowing him in the ring. They are staring at eye to eye. Frankenstein don't seem to give a crap because he's still coming at full force. Backing it up. Oh, headbutt right there to Michael Myers. That dominating force, that Frankenstein. I mean, just his sheer presence. You can tell that he means business. Looking at ringside, though, Roman Reigns. I mean, in his own right, I don't believe he's actually been eliminated. Look at this. It looks like both feet are still in the crowd. The big dog, the tribal chief, is he trying to make a comeback special? He's finally tuning back into it. Roman Reigns, he is hopping right there on the steel steps. I can't believe this, you guys. I do believe that Roman Reigns still might have a chance. He is looking at Frankenstein. Frankenstein not being aware. Big Dog, he's got him. Oh, he got him right from the back end. That tribal weapon is going to be used right there to its full advantage. Roman Reigns beating at both of them. Frankenstein, he's going to go into another dimension. Five, four, three, two, one. From the insane asylum. Hannibal! Now who in the hoot nanny, poot nanny, scoot nanny did let this man out of the damn insane asylum? This is unbelievable, you guys. I actually, come to think of it, how the hell does he plan on competing? I mean, look at him. This guy's all strapped up from top to bottom and that might be his biggest disadvantage you guys because the way that i'm seeing it frankenstein isn't gonna give him the time of day he's like what are you doing how in the crap do you plan on competing you know what 
I'm going to go ahead and do you a favor. He's coming. Oh, he's trying to take him out. He's trying to scoop him out. Well, he's fighting back, though. He's giving him headbutts of his own. Annabelle risking life and limb to get back at Frankenstein. Oh, he eliminated him. He took him out. It didn't matter that he was all strapped up. He still came with a damn purpose. I can't believe Hannibal is standing strong and eliminated one of the biggest threats here in tonight's match. Five, four, three, two, one. Burr from Elkhorn, Wisconsin. The werewolf. Oh, no. The beast of Bray Road. He is joining the family today. Oh, hold on. Not only is he joining the family, but apparently his cub has also made his debut here in the Royal Rumble. It looks like they're talking. They're trying to figure something out on how it's going to go down. It looks like the young werewolf, he's getting into the mine. He's getting into his old rom, and it looks like these two, they are going to make things happen. The only reason I know that is because I've seen a young cub in training. It looks like his father is telling him to go into the ring. So he's going to take his position in this Royal Rumble match. The young werewolf. He might be new, but I can tell you, he sure is not new to the game. He's been doing this for years, and he's coming straight after the big dog. Watch out, Roman. Oh, my gosh. Now he finally gets eliminated. The young cub managed to do what his father told him to go in there and do. He apparently has another victim in sight. Hannibal standing there eye to eye. The father still standing over there by the entrance stage. It looks like he wants to get a taste of this blood. He wants to get some of this action that people have been seeing all night. He's hopping in right there alongside his son. He's saying, good job. He must be congratulating him because he's going to go in for his own kill. Hannibal's right there on the edge. Oh, my gosh. There he goes. He took him out as well. Hannibal has also been eliminated. Five, four, three, two, one. From Staten Island, New York, Ghostface. Yeah, he knows what you did last summer. He's also know what you're doing right now. So if you are jacking off on your balls, what's up? Yeah, Ghostface is entering the Royal Rumble match here. He is going to take his six foot five looking ass and hopefully capturing a huge victory here tonight. It looks like Michael Myers and Young Werewolf, they are going at it. Looks like Ghostface, he's approaching. He's helping him out. Oh, he just helped him out. He took his own young cub out. I can't believe this. Both werewolves, not only the young, but the old, have been taken out. Ghostface is not wasting any time. He's coming after Michael Myers. He's been too far into this match for him to be eliminated. Michael Myers striking back. He ain't giving up without a damn fight. Five, four, three, two, one. Burr. From Derry, Maine. Pennywise! Yo, is this man coming out? Like, what the hell? We got his entrance going. The music's playing. All the lights are blasting. Oh, hold on, you guys. Don't you guys remember? The man was straight up chilling, waiting for his opportunity at the ice cream stand. He is finally getting his chance here tonight. That's right. We got Pennywise. He is hopping in. He's been waiting for the special moment, and I truly believe that he's going to capture this chance to make himself potentially the last man in this rumble. He's going off the ropes, and he's coming straight after Ghostface. Oh, yeah! He clocked him! There goes Ghostface! Now, what the hell is this beat? What did he do wrong for him to be eliminated? It must be something about ghosts and clowns that they just don't get alike, and neither does Penny. He don't like Michael. He's coming after a five. Four, three, two, one. Burr. From Derry, Maine, Georgie. Yep, another lad that don't want to make his way. Wait, look up at the rafters. There he is, Georgie. 
Georgie has made his debut in the Royal Rumble. Now, I'm not sure if I quite understand this, because last time I checked, Georgie, he was gone. Looks like he's making a comeback. And somehow, some way, this man is floating up in the rafters. That balloon, he is making things happen. He must be seeking that revenge, man. Pennywise has done him wrong for so long. As much as he wants to give this balloon to a young fan in the crowd, he's got one mission, and that mission is Pennywise. Uh-oh, Pennywise knows what's coming. Here comes Georgie. He's scooping him up. Whoa, 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 Georgie's got him up in the air. He's floating up. They all flunk. They all flunk. And yo, flunk too. Oh, 30 feet up in the air. Georgie has dropped him. Just like that, Georgie has eliminated Pennywise. Now he's coming after Michael. He's trying to give him the balloon. Michael wants nothing to do with it. He's trying to fight back in his own right. Oh, huge back elbow smash. He just knocked out S. S. Georgie, he might have taken that boat all the way back because not only him and Pennywise have also been taken out. Five, four, three, two, one. Burr. From Evil Ashes Basement, Henrietta! Fresh souls! I want some fresh souls. I'm gonna tell you, she's looking in the wrong place. I don't believe any man that has entered this Royal Rumble has any souls, or for that matter, fresh. Now luckily, she's got a pretty damn good lineup here because Michael Myers still standing strong in the middle of the ring. She's approaching Michael. Michael warning her. She's coming after Michael. How about some fresh milk for the young boy? Oh my gosh, Michael, he's getting all that milk right there. In his face. What the hell is wrong with this woman, man? Karen, I think that's an understatement. This lady needs to go back to school and check herself with those damn titties. Five, four, three, two, one. From the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. Candyman. Oh, yes. I hope you guys got your Christmas. I hope you guys got your Halloween baskets and all the stockings that you plan on filling up. Because Candyman, he brought the damn candy for all the kids. Oh, look at how nice he is. He's given each and every single kid a piece of candy. But I'm going to tell you, don't trust this guy. No, this guy's goriness lies within his insides. Look at that. Those bees. They came here for some damn action. And if Henrietta has any cue about this man, she'll back off. Oh, my gosh. She definitely knows. She's taking her space. She wants nothing to do with the candy man. I don't think she wants his candy. And I don't think candy man really gives a crap. He's looking at Henrietta. He's looking straight at her. He's positioned himself for the perfect opportunity for his victim, Henrietta. On the edge of the ropes, she's screaming for her life. She wants nothing to do with those bees. Oh, they're coming straight at her, right into her face. Oh, they're attacking her. Oh, just like that. Henrietta has been eliminated. Five, four, three, two, one. Burr. From Army of Darkness, Evil Ash. Now, this guy should have shown up. About a few seconds ago. He would have been able to get his revenge. He would have finally been able to clear Henrietta. Absolutely. Wait, hold on. He's still coming after her. He don't give a damn. He's coming after her. She's already been taken out. But it doesn't seem to matter. The evil Ash, he's coming into the ring. Candyman's waiting for him. It looks like Michael Myers. Still stranded strong. He's coming after Candyman. He's coming right after him. He's still, oh my gosh. He took out the damn candy man. Now, why the hell can't someone do that to Michael Myers? I'll tell you why. Because nobody can withstand all his brutality. Five, four, three, two, one. Burr. From Black Christmas, Billy Lens. Ho, ho, ho. Who wanted Christmas? This guy wanted Christmas. Why? Because that's his time of day where he can capture the souls of many children 
bring her presents, leave them hanging, and come up here and try to eliminate every competitor in the ring. He's coming straight after Ash, just like that. He goes flying. Somebody position the camera on the man because he has been taken out. Man, this is crazy. I thought with him having the advantage of that shotgun and saw, that would have been it. Billy, though, he needs to get back into it. Because from what I'm seeing, Michael Myers, he's still very much in this. It looks like after all the battles and all the fights, he's coming after Billy. Oh, he slashed him right outside the ring. Five, four, three, two, one. From Jigsaw. John Kramer, and he brought his own weapon, that's right, he brought Billy, he brought the forklift, and he brought serious business to come out as the winner, and potentially <laughs> the best ultimate horror monster, yeah, Billy ate some shit, but you know what it all means, because he's still up in this game, he's still rolling up, He's climbing up, and just like that, he's going straight after Michael Myers. He clocked him with his bike. He's jumping. He's grinding his nuts. He's going to decimate all those bits. Michael Myers, it looks like he's holding him. He's choking him. He's grabbing Billy by the neck. He's trying to fight back. He's going to give him hell. Oh, he throws Billy to the outside. Just like that, Billy has been eliminated. John Kramer is sneaking up from behind. He's trying to choke out Michael Myers. Michael Myers, though, he's giving him the fight. He's flipping him out. Billy, there goes Kramer. Both men have been taken out. Two eliminations in one. Five, four, three, two, one. From the far, deepest, darkest reaches of outer space. Alien! Oh, that makes all the sense, you guys. All of those UFOs that we've been seeing lately, this makes all the perfect sense. Oh, he's hopping up top. What the hell is he doing on top of that forklift? Michael Myers barely standing in the middle of the ring. Alien jumping straight at him. Oh, he's on top of him. Michael Myers, it looks like he's trying to jump for position. Alien, though, he's getting the best of him. He's getting every bit just like that. He flipped the damn man. Oh, my gosh. Alien, Michael Myers. Can anybody stop this man? By the looks of it, this may look like it may go on all night. Five, four, three, two, one. Burr. From Hellraiser, Pinhead. Oh, he is coming to raise some hell without a shadow of a doubt. Pinhead has brought a little extra to tonight's match. He has brought the damn table to Michael. Now, what is he plan on doing? Is he going to have a picnic or is he going to go ahead and set this up and get it going? Well, by the looks of it, he seems to be setting it up. No one said this wasn't a weapon match. He's got that table set up. He's going around it. He's approaching with caution. Michael's waiting for it. Pinhead coming straight at him. Right with those pins. Straight in the abdominal region. Michael Myers, though. He's grabbing him. He's scooping him up. Oh, he drove him through the table. But in the process, he ended up taking himself out. Michael, though, he's skinned back up. He's cutting him right in the throat. He's taking out Pinhead just like that. He put him through the table. Five, four, three, two, one. From the far stretches of Egypt, coming straight out of the pyramid, the mommy he has been waiting decades. No, take that back. He's been waiting centuries. He's been waiting for a long time to claim himself as a participant here. And the very first ever horror Royal Rumble match. We have the mummy. The man didn't bring his case, but I don't think he's going to need it. Someone that might, though, might be the man that ends up coming out here as the victorious winner. The mummy's positioning himself into this Rumble. Pinhead and Michael Myers are still going at it. Is he playing the waiting game? We don't know. One thing that I do know is that Michael Myers, he is choking him out. He's picking up Pinhead, and just like that, he threw him straight to the outside. Five, four, 
three, two, one. From Hotel Transylvania, Count Jacua. Oh, he's coming straight into the arena. He is taking flight. The only man, monster, that can actually consider himself a threat in the aerial game, he has arrived here. We have Count Jack you off, and he's coming straight after the competitors. Oh, no, he's got the mummy. He's picking him up. He's got that incredible power that he possesses, that superhuman strength. He is taking him into the flight mode. He's got him straight up, and just like that, he threw him into the remaining bits of our announcer table. What the hell are we seeing here? It's insane how much destruction these guys have left behind. Michael Myers, though, right on the offense. He has taken every opportunity here so far, and so far it's played to his advantage. He's scooping him up. Huge back body drop. Five, four, three, two, one. From Child's Play, right down your local toy store, we have the Bride of Chucky. Now, this is kind of crazy, though, because we had him earlier. Now we have his wife. And now we have the final remaining four competitors in this rumble. Chucky's bride, she may not be the biggest threat, but she sure as hell the prettiest. She is hopping right up on that. Looks like she's taking some height advantages here. Again, she's going to use every opportunity, and I feel like that forklift is going to help her out. She's climbing to the very top. Michael Myers is working on Dracula. She's jumping right on him. Michael trying to juke for position. He is being choked out by the Bride of Chucky. Looks like he's taking him from one end to the ring. She's running. He's running. Oh, he slammed her. He slammed her right into Dracula. Just like that. Bride of Chucky has been taken out. Five, four, three, two, one. From the Conjuring, Crooked Man. Now, where in the hell is his hat? I'm so used to seeing him his hat. Well, I can tell you he's probably not going to be able to compete quite all that well if that hat's going to be getting in his way. One thing that will definitely get in his way is these remaining two competitors because they're still battling for position. Michael Myers, he's got Dracula up on his shoulder. It looks like he's coming straight after Crooked Man. Oh, he took both of them out. Two birds with one damn stone because there ain't nobody that's measuring up to this man. Let's find out who the number 29 participant is. Five, four, three, two, one. Burr. From Arkham City, Solomon Grundy. Now, you want to talk about sheer monstrosity. That I would call an understatement because this giant of a man, I mean, he is standing right there alongside just as big as that damn entrance stage. The camera can barely get his angle. How the hell is Michael Myers going to take him out? Oh, wait. Do you guys hear that noise? What the hell is going on here? Solomon Grundy, he's confused just as much as we are. Wait, who's coming through the crowd? Oh my gosh, who's that? Oh, oh my gosh, Chucky, Chucky. And the rest of the Toys R Us inventory have made their way back into the arena. Wait, I thought he was eliminated. I thought he was taken out. No, from what I recall, I do believe that he was never actually in the ring. If you guys remember, he came in here. With Jaws, but Jaws was the actual participant in. The nice guy, the good guy, has brought all four horsemen, all four of the Chucky dolls to come up here and hopefully be outnumbered. Michael Myers doesn't know what the hell to do. Chucky, he knows exactly what the hell to do. He's coming off the top of the truck. Looks like Solomon Grundy. Yeah, he ain't coming out of that for sure. Here we go. Michael Myers waiting on Chucky. Chucky ain't wasting no time. From the top of the truck, right to Michael Myers. He took him from mid-flight. All of the Chucky dolls. It looks like they're starting to surround the ring. 
He is some serious trouble here today, buddy. If he plans on winning this, he's going to have the numbers stacked against him. It looks like Chucky, he's climbing up to the top of the turnbuckle. He's taking some serious flight measures here in order to come out as potentially the last man in this rumble. From the top. Oh, frog splash right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Bah! From Handon Field, Illinois, the number 30 participant, Laurie Strode. Now listen to me, everybody, stop the damn music. All this nonsense, this madness, it has to end. There is no way in heck that I'm leaving here until that man gets taken out. Chucky, I don't give a damn about you. I came here for one man and one man only. And that is right there, Michael. I think she's got bigger concerns right now because Chucky, he's grabbing her by the neck. He's slicing her. He's dicing her. And he threw her out just like that. Oh, my gosh, Chucky. Wait, that's not the real Chucky. The actual Chucky is still very much in the ring. Both of them are fighting right there to the very end. Looks like he's trying to take his body. Michael, though, don't give a damn. He's fighting back. He's scooping him up. He's throwing him right into the turnbuckle. Pure insanity. What a strange turn of events. He survived 28 other superstars, yet he lies right alongside one of the earliest competitors from earlier's match. Jason Voorhees, you can go ahead and put him right there alongside Michael because he's got a warm bed right there for you. But all that being said, let's go ahead and declare your very first ever Royal Rumble Horror Champion Chucky! I can't believe this match, you guys. This was incredible. Who the hell do you crown, though? There's four men in there. I'm pretty sure it's the guy with the melted face. But yes, without a doubt, if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like. Hit the subscribe button, and also, be sure to join us back, because we got more horror action for the month of October. Let's get them, boys. Come on, Chucky. Oh!